What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Gotham City, aka GCA, back at you with another one. I got I purchased the Catalina wine mixer, aka the Midway Defender Party K cabinet. Looking in all its splendor. It's a beautiful, beautiful one of my first first party cades. And I'm not gonna lie, I think it's really, really pretty. However, you know what I'm saying? I have plans for this party cade. So I want to basically give you a little tutorial what I got. I got the instruction panel. I got the instruction. I got the, the stands, the plug, and the brackets. I didn't get it brand new. I got it secondhand from my first person on Facebook. Uh, his name is Mike Cantrell. And I want to give him a shout out. For selling me this, even though it came all the way from Chicago, I, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of missed out on when the Super Game Rules dudes and uh, might be 19k Fox console kits was all giving this love. And when we remember, they made a three quarter scale like this, but it had the same games list as the Mortal Kombat Legacy, so. I thought it had the same thing, and I missed out on it. And then to find out, this had a complete games list actually dictated to the controls that's there. So we're going to look at the controls. You know, you got the first player, second player, the volume. You got the reverse. It has, it seemed like it has an autonomous gate in here. It has a reverse button, the hyperspace, the smart bonds, the thrust, the, the fire button. It has a USB as well as the headphone jack. Uh, it comes with the brackets that you can hang on the wall, but I'm not planning on doing that. But I will, I, it's sitting on my table pretty good, so I don't, I don't think I'm gonna put the, the rails in it, but I'm gonna plug it up and we're gonna see what kind of games it has. So I just powered it up. The, the Defender Party K got a light up marquee to it. And the screen is loading up. So, what we have, we got Gauntlet, Rampage, Wizard of Wars, the main marquee game, Defender, Giles, Bubbles, Sinistar, Clax, Root Bear, Taffer, and Gorf. I know a lot of people wanted a Gorf cab. Some people wanted a Sinistar cab. Uh, but I think this is the best games list I have seen for any of the, the Midway so far. And I mean, this is a dedicated cabinet plus it has i wish it had online leaderboards but it don't this is kind of like self-contained and it's going right into the center star if y'all all notice right now uh i think this is wonderful so give me about a second and we're gonna have some gameplay so we're gonna try out we're gonna Try out the defender first since it's the marquee game. Uh, so we got the controls, we got the start, you know, the start, we got the thrust, the fire, smart bombs, hyperspace. This is my first time playing it, so please forgive me if I suck. You know, we got defender made in 1980 by Williams. truly suck so <laughs> please forgive me because this is not first time playing defender i'm not playing it on atari it's a little bit different for me but that was like eons ago that was like in the 80s with the atari 2600 buttons so i might probably have to do some more practice so 1350 that is straight trash <laughs> 
So I'm gonna exit my way out of this. Alright, so and look, it's a great feature. You can pause it, reset, and you got and quick game. So I'm gonna go into Root Bear Tapper. And you just use the controls and the fire button for pouring. So it should be real simple for me. I know a lot of people want to make a, like a dedicated root beer tapper cab. Hopefully. So, I guess you only get... <laughs> Pretty simple. Got me some root beer. That's what I'm talking about. I gotta get used to this controls. <laughs> oh, I get to get my name up. So let's put the GCA up there. You know what I'm saying? Not bad for my first time. I, I've never played Root Bear Tapper. I, it's sad, you know. It, to actually go through gaming history and never be able to play Root Bear, like any of the, any of the 80s games, I don't know where I was at in my lifetime. So I'm resetting it. I'm quitting. So I'm going to play Center Star and then I'm going to exit out and tell you what my thoughts are about the party cake. Now, this is my first time playing Sinistar, everybody, so I'm just kind of getting the logist of it. So I'm have to do some homework on this. Like, why the ships are attacking me and why the plants are not blowing me up. You know, and it kind of gives you that asteroids feel, you know, but it's it's more looser. It's a pretty interesting game.
So my final thoughts on on the Defender Party Cave. I think it's a really, really good cab. I think anyone that is in the mix of, of getting one, I think you should personally. I think it's a great investment. I mean, I had to pay a lot to get it here. Let me explain the backstory to this. When I got the FOMO to actually go and get one, I it was on the 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 gentleman that Mr. Cantrell, he was selling it for three hundred dollars. And he lived all the way in the Chicago area. He was only selling it locally, so I had to convince him to make it worth his while to ship it. So I had to pay him for the shipping and another $150 for me to get it because it's nowhere in Texas at all. Nowhere in Arizona, nowhere in New Mexico, nowhere in Oklahoma, nowhere in Colorado. No one has it. And I've been looking for months. So when it finally showed up, I kind of had to overpay to get it. I paid about $600 to get it. Is it worth $600? Had it been in the three quarter scale, I was like, yes. But being a party K and the size it is, the games list makes up for the cost. Now, I don't plan on selling it, but I plan on modding it um, at some two into the Legacy MK2. So I'm going to actually reskin it. And I actually got with Greg over there at, uh, at RK1, uh, at 99 Live RK, and he said he could do the control panel the way I need. And I. Talk to uh, Retro Five Thirty, and he's able to give me the marquee and the skin art for it. For it. so I got a generic rise in the back, so it'd just be easier to replace the PCB with just to do the swap, and then basically, and then I could make my own version of the three quarter scale Defender Party K, aka the Catalana wine mixer. So I think it'll be a great addition into. I'm calling my RK Arkham uh uh Arkham Asylum because it's gonna have so much mass appeal in there, you're gonna wanna be locked up in there for forever. So I wanna thank every the unboxing and the review of the Defender Party Cave. I think it's a great addition. If you get your hands on it, I would recommend you get it because I believe. It will be a great addition to your home arcade. If you don't have a wall and you think about doing a mod, I would I would definitely advocate for the mod. But if you do have a wall space for it or you're just a fan of party caves, I would definitely recommend you to find this is the hidden gem. This cab right here. And this is my probably my only party cave that I'm going to actually get because it's just the games list is so unique. I had to get it. So I'm going to end it on this note. Thank you for everybody show up. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm only 20 away from 500. That, that's a hell of an accomplishment for this channel. And I hopefully I can do some live content if we can actually get some good content to talk about. I know we're talking about the X-Men stuff, but I don't want to talk about that. That's just not for me. So I'm going to leave it right now. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. Enjoy the, the, the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.